Line similarity is exactly how it sounds. You take a line in a visualization and you find all other lines that are similar to that line. Now this is useful both in a time series analysis and a multivariate analysis. Now there's two methods for line similarity in Spotfire. There's a Euclidean distance method, which looks at all the points on the y-axis and tries to minimize the distance between the lines and those points. Now there's also the correlation similarity method, and that looks at the shape of the line and tries to match it with all the other lines that have a similar shape as the line you've marked. Now lines that have the opposite shape are going to be the least similar and the farthest away from the line that you had marked. So let's look at this in Spotfire. In this visualization, I'm showing air quality over time, and I have all of these different pollutants in this color bisection. So for line similarity, I need to use a column value in either color by, line by, or trellis by. So here I've used color by. I also can't use a hierarchy in my x-axis, so rather than using this date hierarchy, I'm just going to use the date column and the date value by itself. Now I can go ahead and select a line. Let's select this NOx value, this NOx pollutant. And I can go into tools and I can say line similarity right here and I can open up the line similarity tool that way or I can just right click and go to line similarity. Now this is going to tell me I can create a new column and I can call it whatever I want here. It's using line similarity by default and I can select whether I want a correlation or Euclidean distance. Let's do a correlation and let's call this correlation. Now I can base the similarity on the marked line, which is this Knox value, or I can use different profiles. So for ascending, it'll find all the, all the lines that are in ascending pattern and the most similar to that ascending pattern. I can use descending, I can use any of these profiles. Here we'll just keep it with the Knox pattern that we've selected and I'll hit okay. Now in the background that just calculated the line similarity. And if I go into my filters, you'll see that I have a new columns for the line similarity calculation and its rank. So if I move this rank value up, you'll start to see the lines that are most similar to that NOx. So here I see a few lines down here at the bottom, and even though they're not close to the NOx, this is using the correlation similarity method, and so these lines, all these pollutants, all follow the same type of profile. So let's go ahead and move this back out, and let's do the Euclidean distance method. I'll select NOx again, and I'm going to right-click and go to line similarity, and it'll ask me if I want to update the existing line similarity. This time I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call it Euclidean. For my distance measure, I'll say Euclidean. And I'll say OK. Now it's calculated the Euclidean distance for the line similarity and Euclidean rank. So taking a look at the Euclidean rank, as I move this over, you'll start to see that it's finding the lines that are closest to that NOx value. So two different similarity methods there. For a multivariate analysis, I'm going to use this World Bank data set. And here I have different countries from around the world, and I have all kinds of metrics. I have things like population growth, labor force participation, infant mortality rate, all kinds of metrics for each of these countries. So I'm going to create a new page here, and I'm going to create a line chart. In my y-axis, I'm going to right-click and go to Select Columns, and here I'm going to select some of the columns, some of the variables I want to analyze across. Now I've added a handful of variables to this list. I can select all of them, and I can choose whatever aggregation method I'd like. I'm going to use None here, and I'm going to hit OK. And whenever I have multiple columns in my y-axis of a line chart, I need to make my x-axis column names. So this is now each individual variable that I selected, and I'm going to align this by country. So now each line here represents a different country. I'm going to find the United States by searching in Spotfire. And when I select United States, this marked line represents the United States. So let's find the countries most similar. I'll right click here, go to line similarity, and I'm going to use the correlation similarity method and hit OK. And then in my filter, I'll be able to search for line similarity and find this line similarity rank. So let me use this uh, rank slider to find the countries that are most similar. Okay. And let's find out the name of these. I'm going to create a details visualization. I could use labels, but I'm going to use a details visualization. And I'm going to highlight all of these. I'm going to mark all of these. So these are the countries that are most similar to the United States in terms of these 
few metrics. So this is a great way to do multivariate analysis. I can add as many variables as I'd like. If you have missing values, such as you can see this line right here, where there's not values for these other uh, variables, then that's gonna affect the line similarity calculation and you'll have it rank lower in your overall calculation.